Well, hello there, Sunny Pinters, and welcome to the Pond Side Chat of the Week. Yes. Pond Outside side today. Yes. Yes. Which is kind of ironic because uh, we should start off with a little update. Yeah. Uh, our air conditioning went out completely on Sunday. And so uh, if you stopped by on Sunday, we were closed because it was close to 90 degrees inside. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The dining room air conditioning went out on Friday, um, but we still had the back air conditioning, which also spit some out into the front. So it got a little warm in there, but it wasn't too bad. And the kitchen stayed relatively cool, but we walked in yesterday and nothing seemed to be working. Yeah. So unfortunately we had to close for the day, but uh, today, great news. We got the back unit back up and working. Uh, it seems to be doing a really good job. It shouldn't be terribly hot over the next couple of days while we're waiting for our front unit to get fixed. So we are back up and running. Yes. So yes. It's, go ahead. Oh, it's exciting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And stay tuned to our Facebook uh, and Instagram. We will update there with the latest news in case anything happens and we have to shut down again. But yeah, we plan to be open the rest of the week this week. Yay. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> it was a sad Sunday. It was a very sad Sunday. Um, in other news, you know, we've been people have been asking about Carol. Mm -hmm. and Carol's been active. I just uh, saw her swimming around in the pond. Um, unfortunately, I think we've drawn a little uh, attention to Carol, and we've had some bad actors come by and try to. I don't know if they were trying to catch her or if yeah. I don't know what they were trying to do. But they um, came uh, one night as it was late and dark out, pulled up over there, and kind of messing around with her. So. Yeah, which is just not cool. I mean, Carol doesn't bug us. We shouldn't bug Carol. Um, you know, she's just doing her alligator -y thing. Yeah. So uh, let us know if you see anything so that we can get the authorities involved. And uh, we want to make sure that Carol is, is uh, safe and happy and people are safe and happy from Carol. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> because she's quite a hit around here. Yeah, people, she sure is. People love her. Mm-hmm. Oh, by the way, what are you drinking today, Sue? I'm drinking a Pills Mafia. Hmm. We decided to raid the cooler a little bit today. Pills Mafia is from Thin Man Brewing in Buffalo, New York, and it's a, an homage to Bills fans. You can see uh, Pancho Villa is on uh, the, the can here, and you have someone tailgating, jumping onto a table, got some footballs, and so it's just a lot of fun, especially in football season, especially if you're a Bills fan. Pills Mafia, and it's also a delicious Pilsner. <laughs> yes, well, and you might need one of those after the heartbreaking loss last night to the Arizona Cardinals with one second left. Yeah. That was that was painful. Yes, it was. We didn't watch it because, well, we didn't see the last throw because we were watching the SpaceX launch. Yes. But when we came back inside and saw that that had happened, it was devastating. Yes, so. it was pretty pretty uh, sad. <laughs> so Pills Mafia would have helped. Yeah. <laughs> but um, we brought out a couple other beers mm -hmm. and other um, selections from our cooler because sometimes you want something to take home with you after your uh, visit to the Sunny Pint or if you just come in for some takeout and you don't want a big 32 ounce crawler or growler. Um, we do have these smaller options uh, as well and uh, we've got We've got a couple ciders from Cider Boys and another cider company as well. Uh, Peddler. Peddler. Uh, we've got a couple of gluten-free beers. This, many people don't know, this Stone Delicious IPA is actually uh, gluten-friendly. It's crafted to remove gluten. We have a couple of uh, non-alcoholic fruits. Here's one of them right here from Krombacher. And they've received good reviews from people who like NA beers. This one's got very good reviews. Yeah, that one's pretty popular. Um, IPAs. We've got some IPAs. This one is from uh, Bold City called Mad Manatee and actually your purchase helps the manatees. Uh, so that's good. Save the manatees! Yeah. Then we've got uh, Left Hand Oktoberfest. So, you know, just because it's not October anymore, you can still celebrate a little Oktoberfest in your life with a Left Hand Oktoberfest. Very nice mm -hmm. beer, by the one, way. Yeah. And a good old McSwaggers from Crooked Can just down the road here in Winter Garden. Yes. And it's a great place to go if you um, haven't been. So, but if you would like to get a little taste of what they have mm -hmm. over there, you can get a McSwaggers. Yeah. And we've got some other selections. There's a porter in there. Um, 
more lagers and pilsners, a couple sours, a lambic. So we just didn't bring them all out today, but we do have a lot of fun things if you want to, like I said, just grab a, a smaller size than our crawlers and growlers. Well, and it's, it's a great way if you uh, want to get, you know, a variety pack. You don't want to get a six pack of something. This is a great way to just try out a couple of beers. Yep. Yep. So we thought we'd bring those out today. I'm, oh, and what are you drinking? I'm I, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I am enjoying a lovely uh, cider from Sweden. Yeah. A recorder leak. Uh, and it is strawberry, it's strawberry lime. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness, it's so good. It is really delicious, yeah. For all of you people who like ciders, I highly recommend this one. It's a little on the pricier side, but it's because it's so amazing. Yeah. It's really, really delicious. Um, last time we had it, it went very fast, and I would imagine it's going to go fast Yeah, again. yeah. We can't get it in the larger keg, so yeah, it doesn't last too long. Yeah. Oh, speaking of things that are not lasting long, we do still have Hershey's Chocolate Porter. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've gone through, in four days, we went through a keg and a half, so it'll be around for a little while longer, probably not too much, though. So come in and get some Hershey's Chocolate Porter, because it's delicious. It is delicious, and a lot of people have been taking advantage of the fact that we have it here to get it in their growlers and crowlers so they can have it. Yeah. Um, if you're wanting to try to put some away for Thanksgiving, we recommend the, the can, the crowler, um, so it'll last longer because if you put it in a growler, a couple probably days, it's, yeah. it's not going to be as good of an experience as if you put it in the can. Yeah, it does last longer. Unopened. Yeah, yeah. so I don't yes. <laughs> Once you open it, yeah. you're done. Yeah. Um, and speaking of Thanksgiving. Speaking of Thanksgiving. Uh, in order for all of us to be able to give thanks and appreciate the day, we will be closed on Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. On Thanksgiving Day, we will be closed. So get your growlers and crowlers and stock up for Thanksgiving Day yeah. the day before, um, or a couple days before, but we'll be closed on that Thursday. Yeah, and growlers and stuff are always so fun to take to a party, you know, if you're seeing family and stuff like that. Some beers maybe they've never had before, so it's always pretty exciting to bring a new variety. Yeah, of, uh, beers or ciders. People love isolation. that. You could be you could be the hero of Thanksgiving. Yeah, yeah. You, or heroine, whichever you wanted to be. You yep. could walk into Thanksgiving and just make everybody's day. Mm-hmm. And even better, walk in with a growler and then some gift certificates or gift cards to take to your family That's during brilliant. Thanksgiving. Yes. Well, and think about all the other holidays coming up where you may have to give out little gifties. Yes, that's true. We have uh, gift cards now, which are pretty awesome looking, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they do make a good stocking stuffer. Yes, they do. So, So. I think that's it. Oh, wait. Wait. We do have, uh, tentatively, another event, a new, Mm. another brewery event coming up in early December. So, keep your eyes open for that. We will have details very soon. But it will be within the first half of December. <laughs> that was a that was a nice hint. <laughs> but it should be a lot of fun. We're we're pretty excited. We're excited that season is coming. Um, we still just so you all know, we still do uh, all of our sanitizing of the tables. We wear our mask. We're very cautious. We yeah. understand that people are still concerned about COVID, and we respect that. We do have outdoor seating. And inside, we do have spacing as much as we can between our tables. Mm-hmm. And um, it's kind of tactile. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. Is it? Um, and uh, we're we sanitize them in between customers. So it's um, we, we're doing the best we can to make sure that you feel safe while you're here. So mm-hmm. we want you to keep coming in now that everyone's coming to the good weather. Yes. Look at this. This I know. is what we're talking about. Gorgeous. <laughs> Sorry for you who are where it's snowing right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you should think about it coming down here. It's a lot nicer down here. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. So I think that's that's it. And till our next Pondside chat. Cheers. Cheers. Mm-hmm.